Our last piece of news is something I want to talk about. There's a new trailer that came out. But Wreck-It Ralph 2, you guys. Uh, they said they didn't want to put Mario in the original because they didn't want him to overshadow the main characters. And yeah, he would probably do. Yes, but they did have Bowser in it. And the second yeah. one, uh, a big one of the first things they announced, which was like right after the first movie came out, was that mm -hmm. they wanted to put Mario in the sequel. That way, right. uh, the main characters are already established, so they aren't worried about him overshadowing him now. So, yeah. um, whenever they actually, like a year or two later, whenever they actually announced Mario, they were going to try to have Mario in it, it became huge news. And I was always like, but they already, that was like one of the first things they said about the movie years ago. Why is it news now? Um, so that, that actually everyone happens. forgets. People yeah. forgot. <laughs> so. yeah, it's like how everyone forgot that Infinity War has two parts. Oh, even yeah. Even we've known that for years. Yeah. yeah. So um, <laughs> another part of this is there is a rumor that Charles Martinet is going to be voicing Mario in Wreck-It Ralph 2. Which is... Okay. It cannot get anyone else. It has to be Charles Martinet. Well, this is a, a thing where another thing that I thought was obvious because I was like, why would they not get mm -hmm. him yeah. to do it? I, I mean, mean I, I, I... what? Sorry, Axel. But who else? I, I I don't think that they he's a, a voice actor that's hard to get a hold of. So yeah, <laughs> probably not. I could be wrong about he... that, but I didn't wasn't not under that impression. So. No, he he goes to a lot of fan conventions, and people go to fan conventions when they aren't working. And he's <laughs> not to say he's never working, but he's at a lot of conventions. So yeah, but I mean, he records like some clips for Mario or whatever, um, and all he the Mario did characters. One of the dragons um, and he did Skyrim and Skyrim, yeah. But then like That's for right. Mario, um. He can record it, and then Nintendo would reuse his voice clips like that, like quite a lot. So yeah. it's not like he needs to go and re-record Mario for every Mario game that comes out. You he know? just gets a check yeah. for like ten thousand yeah. dollars in the mill whenever they reuse so, it for thanks a new for game. that recording session in '96. <laughs> Actually, yeah, here's a bit of fun trivia: the guy who did the voice clips for Yoshi for the N64. Yeah, they reused. He did a bunch of Yoshi voice clips. This this. Japanese guy, they, just imagine him in a booth making Yoshi sounds. Um, <laughs> he did not re record any more Yoshi sounds until Yoshi's Woolly World on the Wii U. So he did one recording session and they reused Yo those clips for like years. <laughs> like for like 20 wow. years. I bet he had to make that blue sound like a thousand times. <laughs> probably. Where he's like probably. sticking out his tongue. Yeah. So it's just. That that uh, they like Nintendo will just reuse the clips if they're good, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, with Wreck-It Ralph two, I wanted to talk about it because it was that rumor with of course, Mario. Looks great. And uh, but what are you guys' thoughts on Wreck-It Ralph two? Like the first one was essentially as close as they could get to a Mario Kart movie without making it a Mario <laughs> Kart movie. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if this one will be similar like i don't think though there might be the carts in it but i don't think it's going to be like the last half of the movie is going to be focused on that right um, yeah so what what do you guys overall think about this um like are you excited for the movie did you like yeah. the first one yeah i was a big fan of wreck it ralph I don't know. There's not much I can say about that. I guess. <laughs> yeah, the, it, uh, it looks a lot, like a lot of fun because, like, I like. If you guys haven't watched the trailer, you should do that. Um, but I had I had to watch it before we start recording because I hadn't actually seen the trailer. But it looks like Disney kind of poking fun at themselves a bit as well, uh, which is right. always nice. They bring in all the Disney princesses. Yeah. And uh, you know, it just it, it's I like that sort of self satirization. <laughs> when yeah. companies get into that, I, it, that that gets, that's my groove. So it, it looks like a very fun movie as well. It to, it, it looks like Wreck-It Ralph goes to Disneyland, honestly. <laughs> <It's> what, <laughs> what it looks like, um, but it's uh, it looks like looks like a cute, fun, family-friendly movie. I can see myself like myself enjoying it, but also bringing my son to it, and he would probably really love it too. So yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, aside from that Disney song, games, those are his favorite things. So. Just, <laughs> 
put them together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. All right. What about you, Gibbs? Uh, for me, I, I, I think, you know, it's great. It's one of those movies that I'm actually waiting for to come to come yeah. out. Mm -hmm. uh, watching the first one, uh, when it first came out, I was, I think, was I still married? I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, it was one of the, the movies that I, I would enjoy with my ex's kids and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, so, and not to mention being a gamer and seeing all those little bits and pieces of all this uh, gaming yeah. tri uh of old video games and arcade games, that mm -hmm. it was just it hit the nostalgia spot for for some of the things, and yeah. not to mention it actually had a good story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did. Yeah, and all those little cameos and bit just bits like that do add like a nice little bit of uh, bit of nostalgia that you know the parents and the kids both can enjoy yeah. the movie separately. I it mean, that... let's go ahead. Sorry. Oh, uh, I was gonna say that little portion where all the evil guys from all the video games would have their session. You know, yeah. that was just the best. I mean, but mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> smack men, crack men's skulls like sparrowheads between Zangief's thighs. <laughs> yeah, it was oh, it was really cool because like um, I didn't expect Nintendo to have any of their characters in there, but it was like obviously a Bowser. Yeah. cameo so i thought it was really cool and i'm wondering do you guys think there will be other nintendo cameos in this movie like if they're gonna have mario they had bowser in the last one i think it might be obvious for donkey kong donkey mm -hmm. kong to be yeah. somewhere maybe uh he'd be a character that relates strongly to ralph himself oh, probably yeah. Ralph's yeah. well that's what the on. yeah that's what the entire idea for it basically yeah. mm -hmm. Um, I would say uh, I hope that they have uh, more characters that aren't cameos. Like I feel like they could incorporate some of the characters into the story a little bit more than they did. Like I feel like the only character they kind of did that with a bit was Cubert, and they could do a little more stuff like that. I mean, they had some great characters, but it seemed like we didn't get that much of all the video game characters. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, I'd like now this to seems see like it'll be the strong Disney crossover with the uh, princesses and everything were like a huge part of the trailer. Right. Um, so I don't know if that's going to be actually important to the story, if they just want to show that to get people excited. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know. Yeah, so, the room yeah. It has all of the princesses yeah. hanging It could out. just be that one scene that has them, but they're just trying to draw people in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it could Why be not... a total lie. <laughs> yeah. Why it's not like, throw in Princess Peach and that scene in there? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. So tie it in with the princesses, like, Nintendo has their own catalog of princesses, basically. Um, not quite as robust as Disney's, but <laughs> you could totally mm. fit some of them in there. So Pretty yeah. robust. To see, like, That's, it is. <laughs> but, you know. And Zelda, like, tug of warring over a crown or something. I mean, it also depends if you count each iteration of Zelda as their own <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo princess. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah. you can. Yeah, just, they should include that, actually, a scene where she's meeting all of them, and she's like, what's your name? Oh, Zelda. What's your name? Zelda. <laughs> just... yeah. She's just like, I really shouldn't have decreed. We really yeah. shouldn't have decreed that that was the family name. Yeah, and then <laughs> they, they just get to, like, uh, Tetra. And she says Tetra, and she's like, okay. Like, what? <laughs> oh. It's like, you mean Should Zelda, you right? <laughs> Are you lost? It's like, oh, and you must be Zelda. No, I'm Tetra. <laughs> it's, just like, it's like, oh, you mm. must be lost. <laughs> this is where the princesses are. Yeah, that would be really, that would be really funny. All right, so I just wanted to mention that very quickly. But now we can move to our discussion. Six insane gaming theories, so you guys can go Ooh. click on it. Oh, oh boy! All right, this, me... is, this is from Cracked, who I actually generally like. Um, kind of take a lot of what they say with a grain of salt, but I, I generally enjoy their their stuff. But. But this will be fun, <laughs> yeah. for unrelated reason. Axel just has this general air of being unimpressed. Uh, okay. I'm trying to open it up. I'm unimpressed with my ability to navigate this document. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <All right. laughs>